You ready? Oh my gosh, I did not expect it to be this freaking cold and windy. Thankfully, I put Gigi her big jacket, but I should have brought my big jacket. Sorry if the wind is really loud, but we're walking to the grocery store. This is like the plaza in our neighborhood. So yeah, I'm like speed walking because it's so cold. Whew. Okay, we made it inside alive. <laughs> what's up guys okay proper intro welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here welcome to this week's vlog so um for the last month well it hasn't been a month yet but since the new year um q and i have been vegetarian so i thought it would be cool to kind of show you guys what we've been eating how i've been shopping but we just got in the plaza. The grocery store is one level down and it's closed. So, um, yeah, now I'm like, what do I do? <laughs> because it's Shabbat, so here, I'm not sure if I've explained this in previous videos, but here, Fridays and Saturdays are their like weekend, which they call Shabbat, and everything closes by like three o'clock. The entire city pretty much shuts down. Some restaurants and, you know, certain stores will be open if they're not Jewish owned. But for the most part, the entire city shuts down and is closed until Sunday. So it's very different from like what we consider the weekend. Usually on the weekend, like we get out and about, but here everybody shuts it down, goes home, spends time with their family. So I missed the cutoff to the grocery store, which means we will be <laughs> out of luck until Sunday but one of my favorite things about this plaza like our neighborhood kind of shopping area is that there's this um, fresh produce store where I can still get fresh vegetables fresh fruit but some of the other stuff that I needed like pasta and stuff like that uh, we'll have to wait until Sunday Gianna loves this store the owner like <laughs> is always giving her what is that yeah, peppers. The owner is always giving her like little treats. Peppers. Peppers. She has a cold, so she's been home with me all week. Yeah, blue. What is that? Blue. What is it? The blue. Strawberry. Yeah. Okay. You want one? Not yet. Not yet. We have to buy it first. Okay. You can have this one. <laughs> So this is the entrance and this is the produce store. Come on, baby. Come on. So you can see everything is super fresh. Say shalom. <laughs> That's the owner, he loves her. What else do you want to get, baby? You want some pineapple? Uh-oh. Ah. Dirty. Dirty, no, 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 no. You want some apples? Uh oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. What about this one? You want some of these? Oh, these look good. Hmm? Nanas? Okay. You done with this? All done? Here, can you put this in the bag? Good job. Those are bruised. <laughs> no more, no more, that's good, that's good. Pineapple. Look at the stroller. This girl thinks she owns this place. Come here, girl. Come here, girl. <laughs> Careful. I didn't get any vegetables because if I don't have anything to go with them, then we'd just be eating vegetables. And Q's not for that. So I picked up some fruit, we got some apples, oranges, a fresh pineapple that I'll have to cut up, and some of Gianna's favorite. What is that? 
Bananas. So the pharmacy is still open. I'm gonna see if I can find um, Janice and medicine to hopefully clear up this congestion. Um, she's been running a fever at night, but I already have Tylenol that I brought from home. So I think I'm good on that, but she also needs diapers um, and like a few other things for the bathroom. So yeah, that's what I love about this plaza is it literally has everything, like a little Walgreens type place. They call it Super Farm. So there's a Super Farm in here. What is that? Is that for your lips? For your pretty lips? Mommy has some. You want some of Mommy's? Bush. Please. Let me open it for you and you can have some. Here you go. Uh-oh. Pick that up. And put it back. Thank you very much. Here you go. Oh, pretty lips. <laughs> you can see her cheeks are all red from where I've been having to wipe her nose 24-7. Okay, that's good. All done. <laughs> it's minty flavored. This is my other favorite store in the plaza. The cheese store. Come on, baby. Shalom. <laughs> We're for you. Yay! You, know, you? you knew I was coming. Like every exactly like yeah. clockwork <laughs> oh, I come here too much clearly so this is my favorite salsa that they have um, what can, I get you? Um, can I have a medium salsa please no. yes yes it's my favorite <laughs> they're so nice here salsa. look at Gianna salsa, you got salsa. You want something? You want a cracker? Oh, no crackers today. Usually they have cheese out for you to taste and crackers and wine, but I guess they're about to close. No crackers today, baby. I'm sorry. These are our favorite tortilla chips. Well, really the only tortilla chips I can find, but they're so good with the salsa. Gianna already knows where to find them. We come here way too much. This entire shopping center pretty much knows our life. Like, uh, one of the guys, she's ready for a nap. One of the guys just came up to me and was like, where's your husband, where's Quincy? Um, are they back from Munich? Because they played in Germany last night. So I'm like, no, you know, they're on the plane. They'll be back later this evening. So he was like, well, Shabbat Shalom. Tell him I said good game. <laughs> So that's really nice. Um, but I think that about wraps it up for our little shopping trip. We didn't get much done. The pharmacist said they don't have anything for toddlers as far as a cold. Um, so that's the other big thing here is like whenever somebody goes home from the team, like one of the wives or something or somebody comes to visit, we always, always have them bring kids medicine because here they don't really have kids, kids medicine. Um, unless it's prescribed by the doctor, but you can't just like walk into the pharmacy and get um, You know like the same medicine that you would get in Walgreens, so She's just been having to thug it out. Look at my baby You're not feeling so good what? Yeah. Is that a baby? Where's the baby? No you don't want to talk? Okay. <laughs> uh, so yeah, guess we're about to walk home, back through the freezing cold, and then I gotta figure out a different game plan for dinner because I didn't get anything, unless we're gonna be having bananas and pineapple for dinner. Here are some of the other stores that are in here. It's literally like a little mall, boutique mall. They have some really cute stuff. They have designer stuff in here. Um, this is like a, I don't know, petite store, I guess. Gianna, come on, baby. I can't fit anything in here. Ain't nothing about this belly. Petite. <laughs> come on, let's go. She knows when we get home, she's taking a nap.
Look at mommy's big belly. Where's the baby? Hmm? He's kicking. <laughs> Y'all, my stomach is literally like a basketball. <laughs> Where's the baby? Can you give the baby a hug? No? Okay. Well, your brother's gonna see this one day. Okay, for real, for a one last stop. <laughs> this is like a little gas station, I guess. Hey, what you doing? See if I can find some snacks. Shalom. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Fine, thank you. Gianna, be careful, baby. <laughs> she like umbrella. <laughs> she does. We probably need one. Oh, I don't know what I want. I want Q to have a little snack when he comes home from the airport. He likes these sour Mike and Ike's. Let me get him some of these. What you got? You got an umbrella? Is that Paw Patrol? Maybe some Pringles. Anytime we see anything from home, we just get it. <laughs> I found these hooks at the mall the other day. They are so clutch because obviously like this is our neighborhood. It's a nice day. It looks like it's going to rain though. Um, so whenever I go to the plaza, we have to walk and y'all should see me with this big old belly and Gianna and these groceries. <laughs> it's a mess. So these hooks are super clutch. And then two of our friends live in this building and one of my good friends lives in that building um and y'all can see the store is right over there literally like a two and a half minute walk so it's super convenient there's a parking garage downstairs so i never have to try to find parking or anything so living pretty good so since the grocery store was closed i had to thug it as far as dinner goes so right now i am making some papas um basically like breakfast for dinner which is my personal favorite um i'm gonna make some eggs i got some tortillas here so i think i'm gonna do just like a papa's eggs and cheese taco q likes some big so i'll probably make his a burrito um with the fresh salsa that I bought. Um, I got some uh, fresh serranos and jalapenos from the last time I went to the produce store. And um, Gianna loves papas. I also have some carrots I'll give her. She just likes carrot sticks. <laughs> so um, yeah, that will be our vegetarian meal for tonight. And actually that's like kind of been one of my go-tos. Um, Especially for like lunch before Q has a game or something like that because I can make enough papas for lunch and then have some for dinner also and make like some extra veggies on the side or something. So yeah, probably watch some Netflix or something. Cheers. You ate yours already? Say so hook me up, Dad. I don't know if I scheduled that for Cheers. 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 I understand. All right, so it's breakfast time, which just so happens to be my favorite meal of the day because I find it super simple to just take whatever produce I have, fresh or frozen, and basically throw it in the blender and make a smoothie. So today we're going super fruity. Me and my assistant are using some fresh strawberries, frozen pineapple chunks, and some frozen mango, along with some peach yogurt to add a little bit of creaminess, and then a splash of orange juice to blend it all together. And voila, there you have it. Breakfast ready in under five minutes. I even made Gianna some oatmeal on the side and literally doesn't get any easier. Look at this, literally zero traffic. That's why I love Shabbat. Why can't every day be Shabbat? Nobody on the road, no traffic, no nothing. Perfect. Morning guys. So my day is off to a lovely start, okay? So 
First of all, whenever Q is home, he always wakes up with Gianna if she doesn't have school, obviously. Um, like today, so of course it's Shabbat and she's sick, so no, she doesn't have school. Um, and he's already a morning person, whereas I am not. So he always gets up with her and they have like, you know, their morning time and I get to sleep in. So I got to sleep in today. So I'm feeling refreshed, especially after being home with her all week and her being sick. I actually think this is the first time I'm leaving my house in like six days. <laughs> like leaving the house not in my neighborhood, like going for a walk or going to the grocery store or whatever, like actually getting in the car and going somewhere. So that's pretty sad, but I mean, that's my life. And it's been raining a lot, so not only was Gianna sick, but it was ugly out, rainy, cold, so we were not going anywhere. So it feels good to be out of the house and on my own. And I'm actually headed to the spa because Q surprised me and booked me a prenatal massage because I have literally been complaining about um, my hips and shoulders hurting so bad. I don't know if any other moms experience this, but like the fact that you have to sleep on your side does not help at all. So sleeping has been getting really rough for me. I haven't been sleeping well and um, he knows that. So he booked me a prenatal massage for this afternoon. So that's where I'm headed. I'm like really oily. <clears throat> and yeah, I'm actually pulling up now. I washed my hair last night. So I'm looking crazy. It's such a pretty day. Shalom. Elevator? No. Uh, the north tower? 10th floor, yes. To the spa? To the spa, yeah. Great, thank you. I'm actually not running late for once. That's what happens when Q plans my stuff. He makes sure I get places on time. Shalom. For Jessica AC? She just wrecked my life <laughs> because she did, but like <laughs> in the best way possible. So I had a little bit of time to hang in the relaxation room. Now I have to get going. Q has practice in like 45 minutes. So I have to hurry up and rush home so we can do a switcheroo with the car. And of course, Gianna, um, so he can get to practice on time, but it was perfect. Like, it was everything. Woo! Here's the beach. I don't know if you guys can see it over there. People are out in their wetsuits because it is cold. It's like in the 50s, <laughs> but they don't care. They're at the beach because it's so nice. I'm telling y'all, we've been having bad weather all week. So while Q is at practice, I made myself a little lunch, which is really just leftovers from last night. So I have some papas, um, some eggs. I added a little bit of bell pepper, uh, my serranos salsa, and yeah, this is it. Gianna's taking a nap. 
All right, so I am letting my hair air dry. It's wild right now. Um, but really it's because I think I'm just gonna straighten it again. Like I just honestly at this point don't have the energy to try to tame it on a daily basis when it's curly. And the truth of the matter is, is when it's straight, it's just easier to maintain, especially when I have this one's hair to do. Like, look at this. Like, she's definitely gonna have more hair than me. And I just, something needs to be done about it. So usually on Saturday nights, you okay? She just woke up from her nap not too long ago. Um, but yeah, usually on Saturday nights is when I like to do her hair, um, usually in some kind of style that I can like maintain for the rest of the week. So our Sundays are like Mondays back home. So no school Fridays and Saturdays. And then she usually goes to school Sunday through Thursday. Um, so Saturday nights is when I comb her hair. I washed it actually not last night, but the night before. But because I didn't do anything to it right after I washed it, this is what we get. We had two days where we were lazy doing nothing around the house. So it's turned into this massive, um, crazy afro that is just out of control. So I'm about to try to make something out of this. So I've got all of her little stuff set up here. Uh, this is what I have been loving for her hair. This um, Miel, Mieli, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but pomegranate and honey curl smoothie, along with our oils, um, intense hydration oil and jojoba oil um, for her edges. Sometimes I'll use like a teensy bit of this um, olive oil, flaxseed oil gel, and of course in her spray bottle is just um, mineral water with um, a whole bunch of other oils. I have jojoba oil in there, vitamin E oil, um, olive oil, coconut oil. Um, I think that's all that's in here. And yeah, got her movie on. Right now her favorite is Secret Life of Pets. So as long as she's got that. Bird, <laughs> Bird yeah. As long as she's got that and a snack, um, she should be good. Get, get that devil meat away from me. <laughs> Jeez. De yeah, tell him. This is what happened when I don't cook dinner. I don't get groceries. Next thing I know, he orders a whole brisket. Jeez, you going to the dark side too? Mm. Wow, mm. fam. <laughs> This is the final stop. Come here, little girl. Come here, little girl. Come here, little girl. She knows it's time for bed. Gianna. Come here, let me see your pretty hair. Mm. 
<laughs> Let me see your pretty hair. So I just made a bunch of small ponytails, all different parts. That way, when it's stuck, time to get her ready for school, I can either leave it like this and just moisturize the ponytails, or, <laughs> or like bunch them together, make a side ponytail. Just, you know, let me get her in the bed. <laughs> oh, yeah, crazy girl. All right guys, so I finally made it to the grocery store to make my family a real dinner meal. <laughs> um, this is one of my favorites because it's super easy. It took me like 20, 25 minutes to make. Uh, this is a four cheese and spinach ravioli with some fresh grated Parmesan on top. Um, and my favorite vegetable, Q's favorite too, and Gianna's actually, um, it's a brown sugar. You can see it's like super crispy, almost charred. Roasted the broccoli in the oven. Um, so it gives it a nice like crunchy and sweet flavor. So yeah, I put it in the oven at like 450 for maybe, I'm not sure, 20, 25 minutes or so. Um, and did that while the ravioli was cooking and bam, this is actually, um, Q's leftover plate. He had some before his game. He's at his game right now. And then, uh, when he gets home, he'll probably want to eat this. All right, guys, so we are headed to go pick up Gianna from school. Q had the day off, so we're just kind of hanging out uh, before my doctor's appointment later this afternoon. <clears throat> Excuse me, but before I go, I kind of wanted to give you guys my last, um, kind of like my last minute thoughts on being vegetarian for a month thus far because um, I think it's, <laughs> I think it's, uh, we have three more days and then it'll be a month. So, well, a month for me. Y'all saw um, Sir over here didn't quite make it as long as I did. But um, with that being said, we kind of had a talk. And as a unit, I will say that we kind of collectively decided that after this month, um, we will start to reintroduce meat back into our diet. And not like full time, minimum or maximum I should say like three times a week so our breakfast and lunch um, will still be like meatless but dinner meat three times a week and I say that because um, over the past month I just found myself cooking with a lot of things that I wouldn't normally eat that I'm not sure is like worth it to um, what's the word like substitute one thing just to say I'm sacrificing meat that's not the right way to word it but you know what I mean like um, we've been eating a lot of pasta a lot of potatoes like roasted potatoes mashed potatoes sauteed potatoes like rice a bunch of stuff that we wouldn't normally eat because in our normal diet we just do like lean meat and vegetables and now I'm having to add all of these carbs um, to supplement is the right word to supplement um, what we're not getting like to be to feel fulfilled when we eat our meals so I feel like since my original goal for 2020 was to not necessarily go vegetarian like cold turkey, but was to reduce my meat intake for like for us as a family um, three times a week and only at dinner time is more feasible, especially with where I'm at right now. Like trying to, I know you can get all creative with the ways like cauliflower rice and this and I don't have time for that. Look at this stomach. I can barely get to the grocery store and back. Like I need something simple that I know everybody in the family is gonna eat. I don't need to be stressed out if Gianna is gonna eat all of her vegetables so she won't go to bed hungry. I can't do all that right now. So maybe I'll revisit going vegetarian after the baby's born. I don't know, we'll see. Other than that, I can't even give you guys like in good faith say that I saw um, decent results from being vegetarian for a month. I don't know, what would you say? I feel like any different, to be honest. To be honest. And I don't know if I just didn't feel a difference because I am hella pregnant, but like 
you know, some of the benefits of being vegetarian are you're supposed to sleep better. Am I sleeping better? Not really. I have a bowling ball in my stomach. Like sleeping is just not happening for me. Um, do I have more energy throughout the day? Again, I am almost 30 weeks pregnant. I have to chase Gianna around all day. So I can't necessarily say that I have more energy. Um, my skin, I have pregnancy hormone skin. So that's a wash too. So I don't know if you guys are vegetarian, anybody out there or has tried it before or interested in trying it, let me know in the comments. Anyways, that's it. We're about to pick up Jeej um, and then go to my doctor's appointment. So if you guys wanna see, you know, the footage from that make sure you're subscribed because that will be in next week's vlog this week has been enough so i will see you guys then bye oh wait almost forgot if you guys have any videos that you want to see from me leave them down in the comments i will be in there chit chatting it up leave your questions all that good stuff all the love in the comments and i'll see you later okay bye